Hello, I'm Rick Stivers of Young Martin's Reels. Uh, yesterday, I did a video on this 710 reel, and I posted it on YouTube, and uh, it was pointed out to me that, um, if you remember, in that video, I had talked about two screw holes that were in this, and I didn't know what they were for. And Gary Barber informed me that that was for the rear bearing. And I looked at that, and I thought, how in the world is that going to be for a rear bearing? Well, if you look at this, let's take it apart real quick. See these two holes here? Well, the rear bearing actually attaches here and comes out and it's supposed to go over the top of the axle shaft right here. Well, I happen to have that bearing, here it is. But if you look, it can't go on that shaft because that shaft has been replaced by somebody. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna remove that shaft and I went through that pile of 710 parts that my dad had and I found the rear bearing and an axle shaft. And I'm going to see if I can't put this back together the way it originally or come close to would have been. And uh, he also informed me that this is not a 710A because in the 710A, they did away with this uh, anti-reverse spring. So this is actually a 710. So come to think of it, let me go look in my parts pile and see if I have the cover for a 710. No, it turns out I had side covers for a 710, another 710A and two 710Bs, but no basic 710. So we're going to have to stick with that one right there. And let's go ahead and pull this apart real quick and see if we can assemble it the way it should have been. All right. I'm going to push this down and remove that E clip. Remove the spring, remove the axle. Now these two axles should be the same except for that cutout on the back to go on that um, axle assembly. So let's go ahead now, let's slide this axle back in. Let's go ahead and oil it first. Remember I forgot to oil it yesterday when I put it in the other one. So let's go ahead and slide it in, put it in place. Rotate it around until the keyway inside lines it up. Well, I guess it's going to line up with this gear. Yes, it will. There we go. It slides in. I'm going to set it back down on its nose. Set the spring in place. Push this down. And down about like that. Let's put our E-clip back into place. There we go. That's in place. And uh, now, this bearing is going to slide on here, and we'll go ahead and grease that bearing. Like so. Basically, what this is doing is supporting the back half of this axle shaft. There we go. Slide that down. And uh, I did not have two original screws, but I did have screws that fit the threads. So I'm going to put those in. Now we have the bearing installed so that it supports the back of that. And now that's the way it's supposed to be. We'll slide the cover back on here. Let's set the rotor back in place. Put the rotor nut back in place. Oh, it's a drag slipping, okay. And then tighten it down. And now we have a 710, almost an A, but it's not because it doesn't have the same um, anti-reverse. It's still got the old 710A spring in it. And I think it's really returned mostly to the way it would have been. Um, I just need to eliminate that A off of there. 
And aside from that, I think it will be back to its original configuration. I, my thanks out to Gary Barber for clear, clarifying that for me, getting it straight. And uh, there's another successful reel, I believe. For now, that's Rick Stivers as Young Martin's Reels, signing out.